This yeah, year's debate season is underway, with our debaters um, improving with each turn of so what exactly uh, is debate? Uh, debate, as far as the class goes, is a place where you're going to learn the skills of how to argue. The purpose of it uh, in, the, in our session, what we're looking at is policy debate. So think about how Congress forms rules and prepares legislation for government or in judicial system. And so it's all about these rules we're making. Every year there's a new resolution, which dictates the topic that students will debate over the course of the semester. So the resolution this year for debate is the United States federal government should substantially increase fiscal redistribution in the United States by adopting a federal jobs guarantee, expanding Social Security, and or providing a base in basic income. So what it's asking our students to do is basically look at different policies that they would like to enact to hopefully make this possible. Students will create a case based on the resolution. Novice debaters who are in their first year of competitive debate will debate using pre-built cases which is different from previous years, where students would, of all ages would build their own cases. So pre-built novice cases, the idea I think is a great idea. It's a way to have most of the book work part done so that your novice debaters can easily come in, pick up and work on the actual skills in the room of debate. The issue with it is it seems more to be stunting, in my opinion, the novice debaters. Uh, when, when they're not building their own case, they don't understand it all the way through backwards and forwards. JV and open debaters, who are in their second and third years, will create their cases from scratch, choosing a topic from the resolution. So the case that I've drafted is about the healthcare system and providing a federal jobs guarantee in the healthcare sector. But the case that we're currently running in class right now is about a 200% income tap, uh, cap, essentially, on corporate businesses between their CEOs and then their lowest paid associate employee. Well, my case is over uh, nuclear power, actually, and the federal jobs guarantee in that industry. So basically what my case intends to do is work on building more nuclear power facilities along with giving people jobs who don't currently have jobs. During tournaments, mostly, um, I would say it's on the negative side. It's been kind of hard to find evidence to argue other people's cases, but after a few rounds, we got the hang of it and we realized it's not as hard as it seems. Contrary to the core of the debate, debate isn't always about arguing about a topic. There are many educational benefits that debate provides students. So educational benefits, for one, it's able to uh, help you see more sides of an argument. So on one side, maybe you can understand where someone's coming from uh, and maybe understand why, even though you're against it, you could see why they would like what they're saying. On the other side, though, uh, if you can understand both sides, then you know how to attack it better, you know how to argue against it, uh, and you know how to find, a, hopefully, a better resolution. And so my hope for all my debaters is when they leave the class, because they kind of can now see both sides of an argument, it won't be about winning. It'll be about finding the best end result for all people involved. This has been Kate Miller reporting for the BNC.